Is downloading the desktop app better than just using your browser? For somebody who lives with a million tabs open at all times, yes. In today's episode, we'll explore the differences and benefits to using the browser versus using the desktop app for Canva. And before we get into the pros and cons of both, I will tell you that I primarily use the desktop version. I, it's not that I don't like the browser version. They're honestly both about the same. There are some small minor differences in terms of both saving things, how you navigate between tabs, things like that. But for me personally, because I usually have a lot of tabs open in my browser window, I tend to gravitate more toward the desktop app because it's easier to separate from me, especially with being a Apple user. I tend to be able to bounce back and forth a little bit easier. All right, let's get into it. Let's look at the pros for the browser version. Now, when you open the browser version and the desktop version of Canva, there really is no major difference between how they function, how you navigate, how you find new designs, how you create a new design, or even how you find your current ones. So the pros and cons aren't necessarily an ease of use sort of thing. It's more of just a preference on how you like to do things, how fast you like these to save, and how easy it may be for your style of content creation. Now, if you've never used the desktop version, you're probably very familiar with this view. This is the standard setup for Canva.com. If you are familiar with the desktop view, you're probably confused because this looks exactly the same. And for the most part, it is. There really is no change in terms of the navigation. Really, the only difference between Canva.com and their app is that all these tabs up here at the top, you don't have those. Now, when you're navigating your own content, when you're navigating your designs, trying to find a new one, or even going through your projects, all of that process is exactly the same. Let's look at the pros of the browser. The benefit of using Canva in the browser is that one, you don't have to download another app. Especially if you're a content creator, you've most likely already taken up a ton of space with programs maybe like Adobe Premiere Pro or Adobe Stock or anything along those lines where you're editing content, you're editing video that take up a little bit more space and a little bit more brain power, if you will, of your computer. And downloading just another app may be a little bit cumbersome. For somebody like myself who spends a ton of time in Canva, I prefer the desktop version because it does operate a tiny bit faster, for me anyway, than the browser. If, again, you're like me and have a thousand tabs open, it can get a little cluttered from time to time. Now, obviously, with browsers like Chrome, you can group a lot of those together and keep it a little bit more organized, but it still gets a little messy trying to go back and forth. Let's start with the pros of using the browser. A lot of users have reported that they're seeing faster download speeds by using the browser, especially on larger projects like videos. Now, I've done a couple of tests myself, and I've actually seen other major creators do tests where there really isn't much of a difference. It's not going to be something where you're like, oh my gosh, I have so much time now. You're, you're going to see minor differences, yes. That's really offset by the fact that when you save it in a browser, that file goes straight into your downloads rather than going into a specific folder. That's one benefit that I'll touch on a little bit more on the app. If you are somebody like me and you have a ton of stuff open on your computer, it may be nice to just have more browser windows rather than another app to try and navigate back and forth with, especially if you're using something that isn't Apple related and it's easier to do that. Again, these are all personal preference things because Canva's actually done a very good job in making their app essentially the same as their web browser version. Now let's jump into the desktop app version. I've got a couple of different projects here, and as you can see, you can actually toggle between these tabs just like you would with a browser, but it's a little bit easier to get back and forth, especially because I have no other tabs open that are unrelated to Canva. These are all purely my designs, so things are a little bit faster to find. Another benefit here is that saving your work is much, much faster, at least in my opinion. Not so much the download speed, but more in terms of where it's going. I'm an overly organized person in terms of where I like to keep my designs and my projects. So when I get to a point that I actually want to save my design, I can jump over here into share, go to download, just like you would on the web version. Now let's say I want to save this as a PDF so that I can share it as a carousel on LinkedIn. Save the first three pages, click on download, and then the benefit that once it's done downloading, You'll actually be able to see that here now that I can move my little head. Now, the benefit of saving it through the app versus the browser is that it actually gives you an opportunity to save it in exactly the folder that you want. When you save it in a browser, it's just going to send it to your download folder, and then you have to go move it from there, which can take a little bit extra time in terms of saving your content. But if you're saving it through the app, it gives you the opportunity to do exactly what I have here, 
It'll pop up a little view window where you can look through your folders and determine exactly which folder you want it in or even create a new one if you're creating new content. This can be a huge time, time saver on the back end of things, especially when you try and go and drag in content into the platform. Now, again, I'm overly organized in terms of my folders. I, I probably have thousands of folders that I can keep myself organized between my client work and my nine to five. This is a great way that you can stay organized and also save a little bit of time on the content publishing process. A couple of the cons for the desktop app is one, you're taking up more space on your computer. So if you're a content creator or even a business, having an additional thing on your computer to take up more memory can be kind of a hassle, especially as you get close to the end of that. Your computer gets slower, things get a little bit more cumbersome, it takes longer to save. It, it can be a little bit of a trouble down the road. However, the app isn't that big, so I really don't have an issue with it. And pretty much all I do is create content for clients, for my nine to five, and for myself. One con that I've personally seen, and I have seen a, a few other people in some forums talk about, is that saving can be a tiny bit longer in the desktop app in terms of the download speed when you have other things open. If you're trying to do multiple things at once, obviously your computer is going to run a little bit slower. But again, the time that you save in the organization side of things by saving into a specific folder will counteract this. In doing research for this video, I did see a lot of complaints from when the app first came out a couple years ago that people were finding a lot of bugs, that the app was very glitchy. I've been using the app for the last couple of years, and I will say that over the course of the last year especially, I haven't really had any issues at all. Most of the issues that I have are related more to my computer than anything. So I can definitely say that Canva took the time on their app and actually listened to a lot of those complaints because most of those bug fixes that were mentioned have since been fixed. Now, even though I'm a massive proponent of Canva, there are a couple of things that I would definitely love to see for them to improve. Number one is understandably difficult, and I completely understand as to why it's not available yet, but I would love to be able to work on some of my content on the go without Wi-Fi. Now, while most of our world is controlled by the internet at this point and is accessible pretty much everywhere, every copy shop, most airports and even airplanes have Wi-Fi to where you can work on a lot of this stuff on the go. And if you don't, there is also the mobile version on your smartphone or smart device, as long as you have a cellular connection or Wi-Fi. But that would be something that I would personally love. I would love to be able to work on my computer uh, and get a few things done in Canva on the go without having to connect to the internet. Now, I understand that this is a huge challenge, especially for the fact that you're connecting to so many different assets from the templates from millions of creators across the globe to elements and graphics. And then finally, the photo and video library. Those last three things on its own are absolutely massive. So I can completely understand not having access to those on the go. My second improvement and one that I think many avid Canva users and content creators would love is a more robust video editor. Now, I'm not asking for Adobe Premiere Pro here for a upper echelon type of editing tool, but something very simple where it's almost comparable to something along the lines of Instagram or TikTok's video editors. That would be more beneficial in terms of cropping, adding graphics, adding audios, and, and improving a lot of the video content that comes out of Canva. Now, I will say their video editing tools have improved massively over the course of the last year, and they're seemingly always improving. So I think this is a direction that they'll definitely continue going, and hopefully soon I'll be using Canva for just about everything instead of having to bounce between a couple different apps. Now, my personal opinion is I love the desktop app. I'm in Canva a good majority of my day. I would say about 50% of my day is in Canva creating for either myself or clients. It doesn't take up that much space on your computer. And if you have a computer with enough storage space, you're not going to see the difference. Most of us do tend to use a internet or network-based saving tool, something like Google Drive or iCloud or Dropbox is one of the ones that I use. If you've got access to that, most of the files and videos that you're working on are not getting saved directly onto your computer, so your CPU can handle the extra storage that's needed for the app. And honestly, if you're creating content either for yourself or your business, Canva is definitely worth downloading. I mean, you're, you're going to have access to everything on the app. You're going to be able to stay separated from your browser and, and have a little bit more control over where it's getting saved and how it's getting saved. So my personal opinion, the app is definitely worth it. But it's not for me to decide for you. That's for you. So what do you think? Thank you for joining me today on the Canva Code.
If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button on YouTube, follow me on Apple Podcasts or on Spotify, and stay tuned for more insights on how to use design and Canva to thrive. Thank you for listening, and remember, you Canva do it.